What's going on everyone? So this is my heavily requested Masked Hero deck profile post the February 5th format. So yeah, let's get into it. I've been getting a lot of people asking me every day, Chris, when are you gonna post a hero profile? Cause they know I took it to regionals and although I did, I scrubbed out at regionals, I had a really good, great time playing this deck. And I feel like the deck did very well. One thing I wanna know about this deck, this deck got a big boost with, I sold two tails of Nova Knights. If you guys don't know her effect pretty much reads when she's linked to me, you add a warrior monster from your deck to your hand, but you cannot use it for the turn pretty much. So you can search out any warrior card, which is really great for this deck. But overall, I think the Master Hero Arts type is really solid for the format. It's a really good rogue deck and you can make it either budget and or you can make it um, non-budget with a few key cards. So yeah, let's get into Monster lineup. We're gonna go from there. Starting off with one, two, three Shadow Miz. Um, you need three for the deck, no exceptions. You guys already know when he goes to the graveyard, you search your deck for any hero monster and add it to your hand. You can only use one's effect, one of his effects points per turn. And when you special summon him, you add one of your chain spell cards from your deck to hand. Really good, really solid. Nothing to be said about Shadow Mist. I mean, stay put three in a deck. I'm still running the two Elemental Hero Honest Neos. Um, Honest Neos, when it came out, gave it the deck a big boost because essentially you can make your Dark Law a 3,900, no, sorry, a 4,900 beater, beating over almost anything in the meta. And then let's say, for example, in games where you just open up your Shadow Mist and this in your hand with like little to no back row. You can play mind games, maybe people think you got a mass change, they're attacking to him, and you can go bam, Honest Neo. So it's pretty cool. But I also like Honest Neos because of his second effect. Um, so there you you would have cases where you do bring him to the field via um the card your recursion cards. And his second effect, you can discard a hero monster, he gains attack equal to the discard a monster attack at the end of the turn. You can only use that effect once per turn. Believe it or not, that a part of effect actually won me a game at regional, so it's pretty solid. Overall, good card. One Goblin Berg until we get Solid um, Man. Element Hero Solid Man is really solid, obviously, which is why his name is Solid Man. But um, Goblin Berg is just good just to trigger off your Shadow Mist. Nothing more to be said about that. When you normally summon him, you expect someone level four lower monster from your hand. Um, let's see. So I'm still running to one Blaze Man. Blaze Man is really good. You can dump out your heroes. He's searchable with E Call. Um, you want to usually send Shadow Mist to add your Neos and siphon through your deck from there. He's just a good card because he's an easy target. Two Vions. Now Vion is really good because he just dumps on the summon and he does add poly. I'm not running poly in my build, but he's just like Blaze Man. The only thing is Rota's at one. So you can Rota him out, but you can't E-Call him out, which is why you run the run Blaze Man for collateral damage just in case you can't um, draw what you need pretty much. But two of these are pretty good. They're, their whole purpose is to dump Shadow Mist. And they're like pseudo stratos which they're just gonna search out your honest neos to beat over the opponents really solid play one two three summoner monk now my last hero build i showed you guys about two or three months ago and back in september two summoner monk was optimal for the deck but now since summoner monk came back off the list of three you, there's no reason why you shouldn't run this card at three he's a one card dark law yes you can get ghost over by yes you can get um Ash Blossom by it, but guess what? The whole purpose of this deck is Dark Law. So why not have one card Dark Law? If they don't have the Ash Blossom, you're in a good position. Um, if you guys don't know what his, his effect pretty much reads, um, why you can discard a spell card, so it's one level four lower monster in the deck, and he can't attack this turn. Pre-Master Rule 4, you should be able to bring out Monk, going Monk to Monk, into Monk, get a Shadow Mist, and make some crazy plays with your XYZ, it's like a Raphacilia. We can't do it anymore, but you still can do some pretty cool XYZ plays with this card. Um, Now for the Hand Trap, now, I don't own Ash Blossom, so take my Hand Trap game with a grain of salt, but if you do own the expensive cards like Ash Blossoms, Gamma, um, even more than one Drolling Library, because I only have one to one Drolling Library because I opened it out of a tournament pack, you would definitely want to run those cards, but this is a good budget option. As a matter of fact, I got a video talking about the best budget option hand traps to run. So right now I'm running one draw La Bird. Moving to this format is really good against the Pendulum deck because the Pendulum deck is not dead, guys. And it is really good against um, Spirals as well. Spirals is another deck that um, is not a dead deck. Um, when they search, you pitch it, they can't search anymore. Two effect Veiler, I'm thinking of bumping it up to three. Only my play testing with Tail. Um, it's really good against the Pendulum matchup, which is looking to be currently the best deck, unfortunately. 
So Spirals may or may not be in the top three, but Spirals is still a good deck, so it can slow down Spirals by hitting double healers, but this card is so good. Um, a Pendulum Magician player at Locals the other day when I was playing, he tried to get his um, Tuner Magician out, and I'm no Valor. He's not making a one Tuner card on me, so Valor's is pretty solid overall. And then one, two, three, Ghost Ogre. Um, Ghost Ogres did kind of jump up in price at like 12 to 15 bucks right now, and for good reason. Um, they're good against Pendulum Magicians, hit the Astro Grab cards. They're good for hitting Spire Resort. I mean, it's overall solid card. You guys know what it does. Three Ghost Ogre. You want to make some, I have six hand traps in this deck. Ideally, I would have won Ash Blossom, and ideally, I would have won another Droll and Lockbird. But heck, even if you don't have Ash Blossoms, three Fag Bailers, three Ghost Ogres, Snow Rappers, and two Drolls, it's just as good, baby. It's just as good. So then we have the Monster Count rounded off with one Black Horse Soldier. This card is so good because this girl could search out Black BLS. Very good, very powerful. You can make her mid game. Search your BLS and have a good follow-up play for the next turn if you guys are in a grind game. BLS, you guys already know what he does. You can banish a monster from the field and you can attack twice. Boom, boom. Really good, really solid. Now for the spells and traps, two Twin Twister over Cosmic Cyclone because Cosmic Cyclone, even though it does banish, this is um, the metal, we're in, metal we're in right now. I'm predicting it to be heavy back row orientated. And even though Pendulums, they do get their grave route effects benefited from being destroyed, it's still pretty solid against pendulums if you don't have any field on the setup. Um, people will try to side deck anti spell versions against you, which is a card that's really good against. And honestly speaking, you don't have to pit a thousand, and sometimes you do want to pitch your Shadow Mist to, to resolve Shadow Mist effect to do some searching. Twin Twist is overall just good for the meta right now. Paleozoic is looking to be a good deck, and there's nothing better than have um, Twin Twister. You could, I guess you can run Hey True Name, but Hey True Name is just like a a band-aid it doesn't fix the problem hey true is good in decks that for better or for worse is go for the otk two pot of desires um consistency um three is too much one is not enough two is just as good sometimes you banish all your stuff you need most of the time you don't so pot of desires is definitely needed around two e calls um and one rota two e calls because the deck searches so much with shadow mist and it mills a lot with desires. You only need two e calls and then one rota. Uh, you, you guys already know you can search out the Blazeman or the Vine, huh? really solid. Three hero lives, um, heart of the soul of the day. You want to hear a list, I said Shadow Mist to start your dark, one card dark law. Um, one mass change, number two, and three mass change. Now, I sold this out of the LCG, not gonna front. This is good, I was gonna make dark law. Mass change number two is good for those games where you want to use it on your goblin bird or your summoner monk to make your a dark law only time I you want to use that card so yeah obviously i like it i've used it at um regionals made me a dark law for summoner monk and i've also made me a koga i believe i made a koga off a of ghost ogre which is a really good now this me game it was pretty funny actually so mass change number two is just a good another target to have and also i also like it too because a funny play can come up where you go goblin bird Shadow Mist, after the Shadow Mist effect, they go so your Shadow Mist. Instead of searching out Mass Change, you can search out Mass Change number two, and Mass Change number two off your Goblin Bird into your Elemental Hero DN, your Master Hero DN, and go off from there. So it's pretty solid. Broken one ups, Regeki Monster Born. If you're not playing these cards, you're not playing Yu Gi Oh! Regeki's a staple until it gets banned. I hate this card. It literally cost me a game at Locals on Monday. I was playing against Pendulum Magicians and the guy just had Regeki for my board and just beat me because he I, I lost all my resources. Monster Reborn, honestly, I, I predict to get him banned on the next list. It's gonna be like how Snatch Steel is just gonna steal so many games. You can reborn back people's Pendulum Monsters and go off. You can reborn back any monster. OCG has had it back for a while now and it's pretty solid, honestly, so I'm glad we got it back. Now, as far as your back row, all you guys are gonna wanna run is three back to the front, bring back your Shadow Mist, you can bring back your um, LM2 Hero Neos to beat down the opponent by pitching your Shadow Mist to boost them up by a thousand and searching with Shadow Mist effects. So good, but back to the front, staple on the deck. Better than Call of the Haunted because Call of the Haunted can be Cosmic Cyclone or Twin Twister. This cannot. So, overall, good card. And then I round our traps off with two strikes, one judgment, one warning, pretty much a solemn brigade. So four to two card main deck, um, I like it. Honestly, it's been doing pretty solid for me. The only issue this deck has, so this deck, 
overall it's pretty good against the standard metal we have right now which is trick stars pendulum magicians and um it's pretty solid against spirals not gonna front it but it's more better against trick stars and pendulum magicians this deck has a hard matchup against rogue decks like dinosaurs and cosmos those have been the decks that's really giving me a hard time but against the meta that resolves around a graveyard this deck is pretty solid which is why it does pretty well in the ocg now time for the extract um extract could be better still working on it so um yeah take that with a grain of salt as well uh why one iso two tail and nobody nice like i said you can search out bls and search out your honest neos you run it because it gives you two um two options to bring out one firewall dragon because i run this little girl right here you can side deck against world chalice and it's good against the um, spiral matchup one double helix for the spiral matchup one deco talker just in case deco talker comes up um yeah mon you can monster born back your opponent's link monsters and make deco talkers it's overall solid card one two three dark law um your extra you don't really go into your extra as much the whole goal is to make dark law as much as possible and just beat the opponent koga so broken koga steals games guys you gotta go you guys gotta run koga one anki he pissing a lot of work as well to get over the beasting monsters one dn for those plays when you have to um mass change two off your own um, goblin bird i thought about cutting dn but after i thought about it your extra deck you really don't use it that much uh, ABC Buster Dragon because you're running the cherries. Um, one Castell, one Diamond Dyer, one Excalibur, and one number 41 Bagusa. Now, my last build, I did run the Utopia package. For some reason, I can't find mines. Either I got rid of it, somebody stole it, but overall, I can't find mines. Either way, you really don't really have issues having to beat over big monsters. So, Excalibur is just as good, honestly speaking. And half of the time, when you can't, we don't, when you don't know what to make, you just make number 41. Put them in defense mode and stall your opponent out until you can draw it out to what they can do. 15 card extra, of course. Nothing more to be said about that. Pretty standard in my personal opinion. Then my side deck I'm currently running is three Ghost Ogre and Reaper. I mean, Ghost Reaper running Cherries for the meta. Um, it does pretty it does pretty well, I guess. I mean, at region of siding against Spirals, he just made a sleeper turbo and just crapped all over me. But overall, since I'm now citing things like Gamma Seal, it can help you out for decks like Sleeper Turbo. Um, so yeah, Gamma Seal is good for um, a lot of decks like Sleeper Turbo and decks that just want to sit on big monsters. Two Mirror Force, because you guys already know with Dark Thought, it banishes everything. And this deck has a hard time with Dinosaur, so Mirror Force is a pretty solid card. One, two, three Anti-Spell Fragments for Pendulums. Best card to side against Pendulums, no exceptions. I've had this since like last year. One Strike against Pendulums, Zafiana Time Lord against Pendulums, and Back Row Heavy Decks. Zafiana so good, don't sleep on them, pick yours up today. A Chaos Hunter for Trick Stars, Dark Hole for Dinosaurs and decks like to spam. And Mind Crush, I side deck is at Regionals and caught so many players off guard. It's a really good card, um, deciding going first against decks I like to search a lot. So with all that being said, man, this is my um, Mass Hero deck profile post of February 2015, like I said, if you have the Utopia package, run it. If not, it's not gonna make or break the deck. And if you have your Ash Blossoms, definitely run it. And if you have um, Cypher and Gammas, definitely run them. I would prefer to add those to this deck, but if not, um, a Fake Veiler, two Drone Live Burgers, and three Ghost Ogres are doing great. If you guys have any questions, post those in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't. This is Innovation YGL, and I'm signing out. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces.